Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building a Clone Army. In this series, we do weekly clone army updates and this week we probably have one of the most epic and awesome and just filled with a bunch of cool clones. Uh, we, we have a lot, we have a really cool update this week is the point I'm getting at. So yeah, make sure to watch till the end to watch, see all the cool clones and yeah. So this week we got over 10 clones including some Fire Force clones, some Bad Batch members, and some printed figures. And also... We rented a trumpet. Now, why is this relevant? This is essentially so I could just do a cool intro to this video where I play the clones, which by Samuel Kim. Uh, to be honest, it seemed a lot cooler in my head, but um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> That's all I know. Anyway, moving on to the rest of the video. And by the way, that I didn't just buy this to play in the intro. I just thought it'd be fun to learn a new instrument. And only this only costs like 24 a month to rent. And that's Canadian dollars. So that's like 18 US dollars or something. So that's like 60 cents a day. So that's really not that much. Anyway, so moving on. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell not to miss any of my other videos and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So yeah, anyway, so, so help me reach 1,250 subscribers by September 24th, which is my birthday. So yeah, and anyway, let's get into it. All right, so starting off, we have uh, a couple clones that I kind of accessorized from last week. So we have Hauser here, who a lot of you guys were like, why doesn't he have a cloth? Well, I gave him a Jonak Toys cloth, and it works great, even though it's an 80 figures figure, and, and this is a Jonak Toys cloth, so it's kind of like, I don't know, it's, they work really well, the colors blend perfectly, because not a lot of people get, like, the right color for Hauser. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad to see that Jonak and AV, they both got it right. So if you do want to buy, uh, some Jonak toys, uh, make sure to use code BOOMER for 5% off. They have everything. They have clones, they have decals, they have cheap printed figures, which are really good quality. So if you want to buy anything, make sure to use code BOOMER for 5% off. Anyway, moving on, besides Hauser here, we do have... Wow, that, that was, that was graceful. But anyway, the clone who's... Gray, it's gray. We have gray. He's cool. We did fold his cloth properly. A lot of people are saying get a new cloth for him, but I did fold it properly. So yeah, he looks super cool. Be sure to go check out my full showcase on him and Hauser. So yeah, next up, uh, back here we have a couple printed figures, which kind of reminded me I needed to record a building a clone army for this week. We have uh, here, there, three. Now I did ha I do have I have I've had these figures for a while. These are. A, they are like, they're weathered or battle damaged, um, plain face here, trooper, shock trooper, and why. However, I just did decal the helmets for them yesterday, actually. So, yeah, this kind of, kind of inspired me to make this video. And honestly, these are some of the coolest custom clones I own. And also, I forgot to mention Cody. So, Cody it looks super cool. I did already have his decal helmet, though. So, all I added this week was a visor, so I just thought I'd throw him in. But anyway, these guys are so cool. They're all Revenge of the Sith clones, which is kind of how AV figures release them on uh, July, I mean, June 6th, which is... 6 6 or order 66 day or whatever you want to say but yeah anyway so i did a pretty good job decaling the helmets you could see um except on the, on the right they all kind of suck um yeah except bly bly looks amazing but yeah and anyway they all look pretty good um and yeah but from the front they look amazing uh there's a few odd spots like the shock shooter at the front, front here his helmet looks kind of damaged but that's actually the design i'm not sure if i like that they kind of like I'm not sure if I like that, but it looks all right, and I'm really happy to have these in my collection. Anyway, so some more recent clones that I decaled yesterday are actually uh, Jesse and Vaughn here. So I actually did already have the torso for them. Now, I did decal Jesse a custom face, except his helmet never comes off, so I can't really show it. Ugh, it doesn't work. It's his helmet's pretty much stuck on there, so I pretty much decaled the face for nothing. But if you do want to see the face, make sure to go check out uh, yesterday's. I, no, not yesterday's, but make sure to check out the decaling vlog where I did decal these two. If you kind of want to see the process of how I decal, so yeah, and I did decal Vaughn a visor, and he looks absolutely amazing with it. You can see um, it does match his red markings, which looks super cool. And I'm glad it doesn't match his helmet, which is a mistake a lot of people make, but it's kind of like. Because his markings are red, his visor is red, his armor is kind of like dark orange. 
Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I'm really a fan of how Vaughn looks and how Jesse looks. You can see his helmet is actually really smooth. Like it just looks amazing. So yeah. Anyway, let's put this guy back and let's move this 332nd trooper. And yeah. So next up, we have some pretty cool figures. We have now next up, next up, quick fire round. We got this Phase Two clone in, very cool. And we got this. Three sixty second command, which I'm probably gonna redecal the leg because there's like a scratch there, and I need that redecal so it looks proper. And we did give this guy a CAC open backpack, so yeah. And lastly, we have probably some of the coolest clones in my collection. We have this guy who is Tech, my favorite member of the Bad Batch. We have Hunter, who is pretty cool. And we have Echo, who is the most underdeveloped and underused character in the Bad Batch. And we have Crosshair, who is decent, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, so we decaled all four of the of these Bad Batch members. We have now for next week. I'm probably gonna do like a decaling vlog where I decal Imperial Crosshair, and also I'm gonna be decaling Wrecker. Uh, so yeah, make sure to stay tuned for that. And yeah, so pretty much that's all we have for clones for now. Uh, and it's a pretty good amount. You can see also I lined up all my 212 on this play, base plate. So that brings me to the next thing we're gonna kind of gonna start doing in this series. And that is we're gonna actually start filling up base plates every week. Uh, I have like a ton of phones laying around. So every week I'm gonna try and fill one base plate so I could kind of not I, I have an excuse to do it because my clones are kind of a mess. They're all over the place right now, and I want to organize them. So yeah, this week we're going to be filling up this base plate. It's already half full, so yeah, let's get into it. All right, so you can see there's no clones there. We're, we're going to do a very cool transition. I'm going to put my phone down on the stand, and there's going to mag the clones are going to magically appear in three, two, one. All right, so the clones should be... Wow, how did those get there? Okay, anyway. So yeah, you can see there's two gaps here, and that is because... Wait a minute, there's like, that, these are separated by three. Hold on, I need to fix this. But anyway, first before I fix that, uh, you can see that gap here. You guys should guess who that is, probably. Who is the missing fire, named Fire First character? Uh, he'll hopefully be coming next time in the next, the, he'll hopefully be in the next building clone army. And also we have a missing spot for a missing commando, who, yeah, we'll, we'll see who he is there. Hopefully that will be fixed. Okay, that was a really bad pun, because... The, the guy's name is Fixer, who's going to be going there. Anyway, so we're going to fix this spot up, and we're going to take a look at all the other clones on the base plate. Anyway, so you can see the completed base plate. We did actually move some shock troopers. We fit some shock troopers in, moved one from back there. We have essentially a bunch of phase ones with fives, echo, and heavy there. We have a squad of these heavy boys, or whatever they're called, gunners. And we have some wolf pack. We have some... Phase one, I already said, we have some more wolf pack, which are like decals, some shock, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So next week, we'll have this mystery clone here, who you guys could probably figure out who that is. You can see we have every clone except blank. Uh, and yeah, we have Fixer here, who we need, or we don't have Fixer here, we need him. Anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe if you did, and hit that bell not to miss the next episode of Building a Clone Army.